Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session on getting the scoop and getting the latest on version 12.4 of 2020 Design Live. This version will be available before the end of the week, so stay tuned to understand all the latest functionalities that are embedded in this new release. My name is Santiago Morales. I'm the product manager of 2020 Design Live. So if you have any questions during the presentation, don't hesitate to use the chat box of your WebEx session. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. This session is a sponsor by these, these companies, Signature, Hotel, Decor, and Kohler. So thanks to our sponsor for this uh, sponsorship. Thank you. 2020 Design Live. What do we have today for you? All right. Easy render. Finally, it's out of beta uh, phase and now into release. We've implemented additional uh, tweaking of the light. It's now integrated fully across the platform, meaning that now when you print out renderings, they'll come out using the Easy Rendering Engine, as well uh, renders in Drawing Layout tool will be using as well the Easy Render. For those of you who need a quick refresh, why Easy Render? Well, it's a new rendering engine available on the 2020 Design Live license. It pro uh, provides better quality renderings with no pixelization, White walls become white and white cabinets come out white, which is somewhat of a challenge that we had in our previous release of 2020 design. Okay. But the key factor for easy render is this performance. How much performance you might ask? Up to 80%. So a render that was taking seven to eight minutes now gets out in under a minute. So that's really a performance increase, which will benefit greatly in producing a render. Additional controls. So yes, we've had embedded new controls within the Easy Render, and this is where I'm going to jump into design right away. So for those of you who are not familiar with 2020 Design, what it is, it's essentially a CAD software. It allows you to drag and drop items from catalogs onto your floor plan. The floor plan here is on the, on the bottom corner of my center area. We have elevation view. On the left-hand side, we have what I have, Cloud Browser, which is where I go get my content from. And on the right-hand side, I have my Cloud Configurator, my information box, and placement. At the top, again, a quick refresh for those of you who are not familiar with 2020 Design, I have uh, my ribbon, which has a, se a series of actions and functionality uh, that are of value for the designers. And these are regrouped sequentially as to what a normal designer will be using to produce their project. So if I start by the room layout, this is where you get all your walls, your construction lines, your your architectural items like base, uh, doors, windows. This is where you can create your elevations. On to the next time, this is where you get your items, your SketchUp or Cloud, uh, applying surfaces, countertops, and you go to the next logical choice where you could put your annotations, your dimensions, extra dimensions if you need to. And you finalize this by creating your presentation, your perspective, your drawing lay layout, and reports, okay? So that's a 2020 design in a nutshell. Looking here on the left-hand side, I have the cloud browser, as I mentioned here, with a whole new axis of catalogs that are available for you at the fingertips. So already you can see we have a wide variety of catalogs that are available in the cloud. Okay. So let's pause this for now and let's take a look at what we're talking about, which is the easy render controls that we've added in this new release of 20 of 12.4. Here's my perspective. As you see, already comes out uh, with a good look in default. Uh, and it's been tweaked so that the lighting behavior appears much more natural than it was before in our previous releases of 2020 design in general. Okay. If I focus your attention here at the top, we have a new tab that's called effects. We have a new slew of controls that are accessible for you at your fingertips. What's important to understand that is that these controls are post-processing controls, meaning that uh, they don't take time to uh, render an image. They apply directly on a rendered image. If I 
guide your attention here on the left-hand side, we have a series of filters. A paper, pencil, photocopy, sepia. So if I select one of them, right away you see the changes instantaneous. So these are cool little effects that you might appreciate or would like to use when you're preparing your package or your presentation for your customers. Okay? I'm going to reset this to no filter and draw your attention on the right-hand side. So this is a bit more busy. We have a lot of fine-tuning that we can apply on this image. For example, I can play with the brightness, I can play with the contrast, the shadow highlights, the color temperature, saturation, exactly. So if we go and play with these, you'll see right away that I can overexpose uh, an image, try to get as much light as, as I like. I can even play with the contrast of an image, reduce it, and I can also play with the highlights for ex augment those light air, lighted area a bit more or reduce them to have more shadows in my air, in my memory. I can play with the color temperature and the saturation. So that's a good trick if you want to remove all your colors and go to black and white renderings. You can do that by removing all your color with the saturation slider. You can reset that through the reset all settings. Okay. Now I'd like to talk to you about the pick white point and the pick black, black point. But for that, I'm going to take a pause and go back to my cloud configurator. So I'm going to put this on this side here. Actually, I'm going to leave it here. And I'm going to go to my floor plan. And I'm going to showcase a bit the power of the cloud configurator. The cloud configurator is the tool that allows us the configuration of cloud items. Okay. So if you have cabinets coming from the cloud, you can easily change the, the species, the door styles, the drawer from, the finishes, the price groups, etc. There's a whole slew of control you can apply to a specific cabinet. Of course, this list of features and options is very specific to the catalog that you're using. So depending on the catalog that you use, you'll have different set of controls. Now, the power of the cloud configurator is it allows you to change and apply a modification to an item or to a group of items on your floor plan, okay? So for those of you who've talked about file base and local catalogs, having different styles of cabinets within a kitchen implied that you had multiple copies of catalogs uh, that you need to pull your items from. So this now goes away with the cloud configurator. You always use one catalog, you pull your items from one catalog and you configure them using the cloud configurator. So I'll do just that. So one of the things I like to do is having the island, of course, a different color or a different finish from the rest of my kitchen. How do I do this with 2020 Design Life? It's quite simple. So I'm just going to select these items. Here I'll select my, my uh, uh, island, and I'm going to change the finish of it. So if I go here, you'll see that I have five items selected. Once I hover with my mouse uh, through the number five here, you'll see them highlighted on my floor plan so we know exactly which items are being addressed and updated. So I'll go here on my options section and I'll put select Arctic White. So what does this do? The system now goes onto your servers, to our servers, collect that information, applies the, ch uh, the, the changes onto my design, but not only does it apply the changes, any selection or any change that I do through the cloud configurator will also affect the price. So this is really powerful. Any change that I do here will uh, directly update my uh, quotes and my prices for my project. So you don't have to think about, oh, should I have to update the price, edit the price, making sure that my uh, options has been applied. This is done automatically for you. Somewhat similar to when you're applying styles and pricing or global styles pricing to a set of uh, catalogs or items from a certain catalog. Okay? So as you notice here, I have my island that's been turned to white. All my cabinets on my island are now white. And now I'm going to go back to my two, two little controls here that I have here. Some of the observations or some of these requests that we have from our users is they really want to make sure that a cabinet comes out white. In this case, I like how it looks, but you might be wanting a bit more whiteness of your cabinet. 
You can do that with these two controls. When I, when I select pick white point, my mouse becomes a cursor and any item that I select will, will uh, inherit the white color. So that becomes essentially a white white. When I do this, the whole, the whole image is rebalanced, making sure that it stands out correctly. So when I click here, now my island is exactly white. There's no doubt about it. And the image has been adjusted accordingly. Same thing can be applied. I'm going to reset this. Same thing can be applied to pick black point. If I want to make sure that an island comes exactly black, I can do that by selecting it. And now this becomes exactly white, and the image is rebalanced accordingly. Cool. So there's a lot of stuff you can play here with the latest version 12.4, and I'm uh, happy to hear any feedback that you may have on it. All right, so easy render benefits. In a nutshell, you get to do faster, easier setup of your projects because you don't need to add additional lights in your project. The already defaults of easy render comes out nice. Uh, so less overhead setting up a room lighting. Number two, faster perspective rendering. This is key. So you get a lot of benefit a lot of less time rendering images, which also translate to faster high quality renderings. And of course, to faster generation of 360 panoramic images. So what do you get at the end? Well, you get better looking renderings, no pixelization, better representation of color, finish, and metal, and of course, better usage of the white dots. What does it translate? So you get the wow factor of your renderings, faster creation of your uh, presentation or project, which translates to more time for everything else on your plate. Cloud configurable items. So we've talked, I've talked about the cloud uh, and the power of it, of having the latest catalog, making sure that you have the latest content available at your fingertips. There's been a couple of new additions within this version uh, that's been embedded. Is, is particularly um, focused in for the pillars that, that comes from the cloud. In the file base, we're used to having the capability to drag and drop a filler between a gap of cabinets and have them automatically resize. With version 12.4, now this is possible as well with the cloud fillers. So very happy about that. A recent addition that was done in a couple of latest release is the capability to identify some item as being favorite items. So if you notice here at the top right corner of each of these items, I have a little star, which I, when I click, it defines my item being a favorite. So when I filter out for favorite items, I can, own, I can determine to see only my favorite items. And this is across all my catalogs. Okay. And if you want to have it specific by catalog, there's a way to just select a specific catalog to, to pull out your favorite items from. So that's neat. That's, uh, that's a request that's been asked and we've implemented lately. Oh, 2020 manager. Uh, I'm not sure if some of you attended a presentation from Jim Smalley. Jim Smalley is my counter, uh, counter not countertop, this is my counterpart uh, for 2020 manager. He's the product manager of 2020 Manager. Essentially, uh, he's directing that product, and we'll get a bit more as to what this product does. But before that, some of the issues that you guys have is tracking all your projects. Okay, when I go and meet designers on the field, uh, often I, uh, I look at how they track their projects. They with notepads with an Excel sheet, with a whiteboard, with pen and paper. Uh, and it's quite easy to lose track of your projects, where you are with your leads, where you are with the status of each of your projects, have you sent your codes, have you received the, the, the confirmation, acceptation from your customer. So this can become a headache. Well, see, this 2020 manager tool addresses just that. What is it? Well, it's a web-based solution designed to efficiently manage customer interaction. So through this tool, you'll be able to manage all your prospects, manage your customers, and manage design. Now, this is key. With the version 12.4 of 2020 design, there's an easy integration to 2020 manager. 
Okay, we're able to send your projects from 2020 Design to 2020 Manager. So that means that all your projects will be able to be centralized with 2020 Manager. So 2020 Manager becomes your portal to all your projects. So your customer, the projects of each customer is accessible through one tool. You'll be able to, from 2020 Manager, to generate quotes, document your processes, and produce yourselves and monitor yourselves. Cool. 2020 Manager is still in the works. It's coming out soon, but at least version 12.4 of 2020 Design Live is ready for it. Ah, this functionality. I'm so happy about this functionality, the automated deployment and installation. 2020, so if I go back to 2020 Design, with 2020 Design Live at this version 12.4, we manage to facilitate the access to new versions of 2020 Design Live. How do we do this? Through the Help menu in the About screen, and there's going to be additional options for you to select from. As you notice already, there's a, uh, there's an icon here on the right-hand side, right beside my version. This icon is actually telling me, hey, there's a new version for you available on our server. If, it would, if your version would be up to date, you would have a check mark. So this is where you can check for updates. This will prompt our servers and provide you with a screen telling you what's available for you to download. Okay. As we go further, we'll be able to provide you with release notes, what's encompassed in this version and whether it makes sense for you to install. And what's interesting is that now we're guiding you to the, to the process to fetch that download and, and download it and install it in a few clicks. Okay, so this alleviates a lot your process to be sure that you're up to date to the latest version, making sure that you take advantage of the latest functionalities and the latest uh, performance updates. Cool, very happy with this functionality. Thank, I thank you all for attending today's presentation.